So you're debating about buying a little subcompact tractor, aren't you, neighbor? Let me try to give you another reason why you should. I debated that idea for a while, and I finally made the decision. Let me show you something that I really enjoy about this tractor that helps me out a lot around the land. I only have about five acres, but three of them were full of brush, woods, it was a mess. And it takes forever to clean it off. We tried doing it by just chainsaw and little weed eaters and you, you name it, we tried it, but no. We finally gave up and we said, I'm gonna invest in a tractor and I finally did, check it out. So you, you've seen a few videos of my tractor and I'm about to show you what these forks can actually do. If you have a subcompact tractor, you need to get you some forks. They have come in handy so much. And I'm about to show you how in handy they come when it comes to cleaning your land, all right? Check it out. So I have the ones that just go on the front bucket of your tractor. Uh, that way you don't have to get rid of your bucket and you have to fully attach them. All you gotta do is screw them down, tighten it up, and you're good to go. Now they're ready. Let's see what it can actually do. You see how easy and safe that was? All I had to do was put those forks in there, grab a big load of brush, drop it on there, stayed away from the fire, and there you go. Nice and simple, they, they really do come in handy. I've used them for a lot of different jobs, but there's one way you can use them. I'll be showing you some more videos of how you can use these forks a little bit more, but in the meantime, just watch this fire burn. While we're waiting for the fi fire to die down a little bit so I can put that second load. It's story time, Vamico. Yeah. It's story time. Sure, story time. <laughs> all right. That's a quick little story about last year, all right? Last year, I was clearing brush like this year. And we were burning brush just like this year. Except we didn't have the tractor, all right? We actually were just Let's making a pile and throwing brush in now. there. Throwing brush in there, all right? Um... Papi, is it small now? Almost, because you're going to go put your sticks in there? Yeah, but I'm going to want to die last in the fire. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Not yet, mijo. I'm going to go. But I'm going to want to die last Okay. All right. Well, I have to pass that story so he can go throw his sticks. Be careful. Go. Arrimate. Ah, good job. I'm middle. There you go. Good job. You got it. Got it? Wait, this is All right. Yeah, está bien. All right. So real quick. So last year I was burning brush, and like I said, we had little piles here and there, and we would burn them. I didn't have the tractor, so it got to the point where we had like three piles lined up, and I guess they were kind of like that one, all together. And since after I piled them up, I couldn't move them because it's just too much. I lit them up and said, I'll, I'll watch it and monitor. It shouldn't get that big. And I knew it was going to rain the next day, so I said I was going to be fine. However, it got big. It got big, and it got out of control, and the firefighters came, all right? The firefighters showed up, and <laughs> I was standing there with a water hose from the spigot, like a regular household water hose, with a yeah, face like... It's crazy. It was crazy, because with a face like... Um, yeah, I have it all under control with a water hose. <laughs> but they were they were really good sport about it. They had a little bit of water with them. Um, they actually sprayed it down a little bit. And they said, all right, man, we're not going to find you. You're not in trouble. 
but you you just can't do that all right that is too much brush at one time that's too big of a fire even though there there was actually a little road next to it that was scraped down by the neighbor because he had the tractor uh, but there wasn't a road on my side so they're like even though it's not going to walk over to the rest of the brush and trees and stuff still it's not completely under control man so no next time you have to you know clean around the brush you have to make small piles and you have to have bigger something bigger than just a little garden hose all right so that's my little story that's something to share with you guys it was something kind of i don't know uh, uh, i was nervous i was scared i didn't know what to do because this fire was completely out of control at that point i'm glad they actually showed up but they got it under control and we finished out the day so today won't be nothing like that because we got the tractor all right i don't know if you've ever burned bamboo but it, it's pretty crazy once it dries up it actually pops you hear all that popping that's bamboo i have some old bamboo over there and i cut it down and now it's dried up i guess little air pockets in there so that's all bamboo but uh, it'll, it'll die down i just put a little bit of time once it dies down we'll do a little bit more but yeah that's what made that big fuss the little pop in and the big smoke it was all bamboo <laughs> it's under control though neighbor we got this we got that little road down that way and we got road down that way and then we got a little road on the back yeah but if you clear a little path around the brush you got nowhere to go all right so that's another pro about the tractor that i used it for I cleared the little path around it, I scraped it down, it's safe, it's going nowhere. <laughs> I lost one of the forks a minute ago. I was trying to move that brush around and then one of the brush got hung up right here. And I guess it turned it or it might, maybe I didn't tighten it up enough honestly. But that's the, that's the thing about these forks. They have really come in handy and I like the convenience of just putting them on there, tightening them up and going with it. But. If you don't tighten them up hard enough, I have been known to lose them. Honestly, I didn't get it uh, on the camera, but a minute ago, I actually lost one of these forks inside the fire. I actually waited till it died down a little bit so I could actually get it out. I wasn't gonna reach in there and get it out, but hey, they're actually really good. If you like them, if you enjoyed them, if you found this to be a little nifty add-on to your tractor, I will link in the description below where I picked them up from Amazon. And they're inexpensive. They're like $150, I think they were. So you can pick them up from my description. And like I said, the subcompact tractor has come in handy so much, I do not regret buying it, all right? So if you're interested in actually purchasing a Branson tractor, I'll give you more details in a few other videos of you know pros and cons, things that I like, things that I don't like. So just make sure you subscribe down below and you can follow up on a few of my videos that I will be doing about the tractor and a few of attachments that I have because I'm, I'm up to four attachments. Well, I'll keep growing for some more and I'll keep sharing. All right, neighbor, I'm gonna keep burning the rest of this brush and you enjoy the rest of your day. See ya.